welcome to daily updates first of all let me wish you all a very happy and prosperous onam today let's know all about onam an essential guide to the festival of kerala onam is a god like festival from god's own country it is a time of the year when kerala is exhilarated with trumpets drums elephants boat races dances art music floral decorations lights colors rituals and the delicious honors of the without which the celebrations are incomplete whether you are a malayali or not the spirit of onam is universal onam is a traditional festival of malayalis originated from the state of kerala onam is a religious cultural festival that is celebrated by the malayali community around the world Falling on the month of Chingam in the Malayalam calendar, the festival overlaps with the months August to September on the Gregorian calendar. Let's know the history of Onam, the legend and the significance. The Mahabali legend that spins the tale of Onam. According to Hindu mythology, the Brahmin sage Prahlada had a grandson named Mahabali who took over the three worlds by defeating the gods. In Vaishnavism, the devas approached Lord Vishnu to help them in the battle against Mahabali. Vishnu refused considering Mahabali being a good ruler and his devotee. Mahabali performed a yajna after his victory over the gods and had to grant anyone any request. Lord Vishnu took this opportunity to test Mahabali's devotion and approached Mahabali in the avatar of a dwarf boy called Vamana. The king offered everything he could to the boy but Vamana refused and said one must not seek more than one's needs and all he needed was 3 paises Mahabali although surprised by the boy's wish agreed to grant it Vamana grew and covered the land and water with one foot and the sky with another foot now to place his third foot Mahabali offered himself Vamana trampled Mahabali down to padala that is hell but pleased by his devotion offered him a boon to visit his land every year the revisit of mahabali marks the festival of onam colorful art food and traditional clothing the onset of onam is from the procession that starts from tripunthara in kochi the parade features the culture of kerala through elephant marches drum beats festival flag hoisting folk art forms colorfully decorated floats that depicts scenes in mahabharata and ramayana Historically the procession path leads to the temple from Tripurathara that's dedicated to Vamana the avatar of Vishnu. Now let's know about Pookalam. The Onam Pookalam is nothing but a floral carpet that's decorated with flowers and petals. It is filled with several varieties of flowers forming patterns on the floor of central entrances. Women arrange these flowers at their homes and temple premises and decorate them with lamps on the edges or in the middle. It is a religious art that involves a lot of patience and creativity to blend the colors of petals to form a floral art. Pookalam is very similar to rangoli that's decorated by people in other parts of India. The traditional dances. The Kathakali, a traditional dance form of Kerala, is very fondly known by all. Apart from this, there are other dances such as Tiruvadra, Pulikali, Kummatikali, Thumbidullal, Onam Kali, which are performed during Onam. Tiruvadra Kali is a popular dance form performed by women on the day of Onam. This is accompanied by Tiruvadra Pattu, which are the folk songs of Lord Shiva and Parvati. The group of women dance around the Nilavalakku, a standing lamp showing the grace of feminine. Kummatti Kali, on the other hand, is a dance with heavily painted colorful masks that depicts Krishna, Narada, Dariga, and Kirata. It is most prevalent in Trishur district of Kerala. Onam Kali is another form of dance where performers circles around a lamp and dancing to songs which depicts tales from Ramayana. Pulikali or Lappar dance is also known as Kaduvagali. It is a recreational folk art form of Kerala. It is for It is performed on the fourth Onam day where performers paint themselves as tigers in shades of bright yellow, red and orange and dance to beats of traditional instruments like chenda, tagil and uduku. Now the famous boat race that is called Vallam Kali. The traditional stake boat race is an essential event during the festival of Onam. It includes races of a various kinds such as paddled long boats, snake boats and traditional boats of Kerala. 
Panji Pata or the Bot song is sung during the Bot race to entertain the crowd and encourage the canoers. This event can be witnessed on the Pamba River of Kerala. The Sadhya meaning banquet in Malayalam is a vegetarian meal that is served on a banana leaf. There are a variety of 29 dishes that are laid over the leaf with less or more number. The feast reflects the spirit of Onam with some items such as rice, sambar, chips, chakravarti, injipuli, papparam, avian, olam, pickle, dal, thoran, ghee, rasam, pulisheri, erisheri, pachadi, kichadi, coconut chutney, mori, and which ends with a sweet savory payasam. In certain customs, a palmyra tree covered with dry leaves surrounded by a wooden balustrade is erected in the temples. The tree is then lit with a torch that gets burned down to ashes, symbolizing Mahabali's sacrifice. Another custom is a swing slung from high branches, which plays an integral part in the rural areas. Young men and women sing on a party and drop one another on the swings as a form of merrymaking. The 10 Days of Onam Onam celebration spans over 10 days with numerous festivities. It is observed by most Hindus in its pure traditional form. The first 10 days of Onam are the most important which begins with Atam. On the day of Atam, festivities begin at the Vamla Murti Trukakara temple in Kochi, where a grand procession is held called as Atachamayam. The day marks the preparations of the visit of Mahabali to his kingdom. This is followed by the laying of Pukalam, which is made of only yellow petals. The Pukalam on Attam is known as Atapu, which is made of only one layer that gets added on progressively as each day of Onam passes. Statues of Mahabali and Bhamana are placed on the courtyards that are, du- that are dung plastered in front of the house. Now the Chitra. On the second day of Onam, two more layers of orange and creamy yellow flowers are added to the Pukalam. People clean their houses and visit temples on this day. On the third day of Onam, it is when people buy new clothes, otherwise called onakodi. Women dress up in kasavasari and men purchase mundu while young girls wear patipavada. Families go shopping as well as gift each other jewels and clothes. The third layer of flour is added to the pukalam as well. Vishagam. This day is considered as the most auspicious as the onasadhya preparations commence. The women in the family stock up ingredients from the market. Usually, markets hold their harvest sale during this period, making Kerala markets the busiest place. The dishes go up to 26 to 30 in different families. After all, onasadhya is all about filling the plantain leaf with dishes until there is no space left. On the Aniram day, the Vallamkali or snake bot traces flag off on the Pamba river and the Pukalam grow bigger. On the Triketa, fresh flowers are added to the Pukalam and families visit their ancestral homes and spend some time, exchange gifts, etc. On the Mulam day, most temples start offering honor sadhya on this day. Families prepare a shorter version of the sadhya. The Pulikali and the Kaikotikali are performed at various places in Kerala. The state starts getting colourful and busy with celebrations. On the Puradam, the day begins with the ritual of installing clay statues of Mahabali and Bhamana, commonly called Onatappan on the centre of Pukalam. They are the representation of Mahabali and fixing these statues symbolises an invitation to Mahabali to visit each house. By now, the Pukalam is much bigger and complex. Uttradam is considered as the Onam even when the preparations reach its zenith. The devotees fully prepared themselves to welcome King Mahabali the next day. This day is the eve of Onam and considers as the first Onam. It is the most auspicious day to purchase fresh fruits and vegetables. According to traditional billets, Mahabali arrives in Kerala on this day. Hence, people clean their houses and do their final Onam shopping. And the main day of Onam festival is Tirvonam, when people apply rice flour batter on the entrance of their houses as a traditional welcome sign, take a shower and dress up in new clothes and also distribute arms to the poor and needy. The Puklam is completed perfectly and the families gather to feast on the Onam Sadhya. Now the post Onam celebrations. Although Tiruvonam is the main occasion, the following days Avitam, 3rd Onam and Chadayam, 4th Onam are also considered as days of Onam. Preparations, are for, preparations for Mahabali's departure are undertaken. Preparations for Mahabali's departure are undertaken and the Pukalam is cleared. The clay statues of Onatapan is immersed in the river or the sea. 
Some parts of Kerala still organize the Vallamkali and the Pulikali. Onam isn't just a Keralaite festival, it is celebrated across all states and around the world regardless of caste and creed. Celebrations are notable in Malayali diaspora in UAE, USA and Singapore. Well, except for the frights over the last ounce of Paisam, Onam is a harmonious, cheerful and exuberant festival. I once again wish you all a very happy and prosperous Onam.